Hi, Jeremy Cohen here with a Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute. Now it's entirely possible that this may take a little bit longer than a minute, but let's get started learning how to produce better tone, improvise, and make your fiddle swing. Hi, Jeremy Cohen here, and this Make Your Fiddle Swing Minute is going to be discussion of finger pressure. Primarily left hand finger pressure and some of, about right arm bow pressure. Um, I remember playing a lot of gigs when I was younger and playing really hard in a noisy space, playing an acoustic violin, and really by the halfway through the gig, I was really getting fatigued. My left hand was getting tired. I remember playing Orange Blossom Special and going and shoving my hand in an ice machine to cool off my left hand. I was working so hard. And I've learned over the years how to sort of work with that situation so that I can plan for long gigs and, and be able to keep my health and the tone of my fingers and my intonation going. There are certain problems with pressing too hard. And one of them is that it can affect your intonation. If you press really hard on a string, the note still happens and it sounds normal. But you're actually pressing sometimes two or three X harder than you need to in order to get the actual tone of the note. So I'd like you to do a quick experiment. Take a finger and touch the string without enough pressure. I'm going to take my first finger on the A string and I'm going to make a horrible sound by just touching the string to the finger without applying the pressure. That wants to be a B under my first finger, but the, I have not given the string enough pressure yet. I'm exper experimenting with not enough pressure. Slowly, I'm going to add pressure to that note until the first moment that I hear a good sounding B. And at that point, I'm going to stop adding more pressure. So here's not enough. Slowly adding. There. I've got the pressure appropriate for the instrument to give us a good sounding B. I want you to ask yourself at that moment, is that the same or more or less pressure than I use when I'm putting my fingers down normally on the fingerboard for playing. We use a certain amount of pressure from our left hand fingers. What I'd like you to understand is what's the minimum amount of pressure that will give you good tone. So, not enough pressure. You hear the tone is not full and it's not coming like normal notes from my violin. I'm going to play with slightly more. Now I'm using enough pressure. Interestingly enough, if I add too much, you can't really tell. The instrument sounds the same. So in order to develop your muscles, be able to play with longevity and for example, you have a long gig, three hours, four hours, six hours, whatever it is, you want to start learning what the minimum amounts of pressure that will deliver good tone are and start calibrating your pressure to that weight so that you can actually uh, be more of an athlete and last longer on your gigs with good sound. Let's play a little bit and think about light finger pressure. Along with that, I'm going to not press heavily with my right arm. I'm going to bow gently. And I can press harder. And create more of a grit and more tone and more energy in the playing, but I'm also going to back off and return to a lighter form of playing.
that's a make your fiddle swing moment on finger pressure. Hope you enjoy. <laughs>